Bev, Bev, what the heck are these? All right, welcome back to the channel. Dan here from Northern EV. Today, we are going to dive into the electrifying topic. What is the difference between a FEV and a BEV? Now, I'll go over the differences and highlight the advantages of each, so stick around. So first, let's understand the basics. And to understand the basics, I have to cover a regular hybrid. Now, these are the ones that have been around for a while. It combines a combustion engine with a battery. It's able to maximize fuel efficiency by using the battery to power the car at lower speeds and then switching to gas for higher speeds. It also charges the battery when the regular engine is in use and charging also happens when accelerating or via the regenerative braking, which is when the electric motor is slowing down the car rather than the brakes. And you also don't have to charge a regular hybrid. Then we have a FEV, which means plug-in hybrid vehicle. It also has a combustion engine and battery combo, but this one, as the name suggests, you plug it in. Essentially, the car utilizes strictly battery power until it runs out and then switches to gas. On the other hand, a battery electric vehicle, or BEV, I don't know why they say BEV, let's just call them, uh, they're fully electric, so just call them EVs. They run solely on electricity and have no internal combustion engine. Instead, they rely on a large battery pack to power an electric motor. Now let's explore the advantage of each type, starting with hybrid and plug-in hybrid vehicles. Now, a lot of manufacturers will have a hybrid and plug-in hybrid on some models. Think of the Ford Fusion, they have a hybrid and plug-in hybrid option. Generally, the hybrid option will be the cheaper one of the two. The downside though is you're not saving any money on not having to buy gas. They're also more expensive to maintain. On the other hand, a plug-in hybrid may be more expensive to buy, but if your daily driving is under the battery range, so let's say the battery range is 50 miles, but you only drive about 30 miles a day, then you never have to buy gas, or at least very rarely. So you really have to think about that number when you're considering a FEV. Plug-in hybrids offer the flexibility to travel long distances without worrying about running out of charge. They also provide peace of mind, especially on those longer trips or in areas with limited charging infrastructure. Now let's shift gears and explore the advantages of battery electric vehicles. One of the standout advantages of EVs is their zero tailpipe emissions. By running solely on electricity, battery electric vehicles produce no exhaust emissions and contribute to cleaner air and a greener planet. If reducing your carbon footprint is a priority, an EV is an excellent choice for you. Battery electric vehicles also have lower operating costs compared to traditional gasoline powered cars. Electricity is generally cheaper than gasoline, especially at home, and EVs require less maintenance due to fewer moving parts. Over time, these savings can really add up. Now, while both plug-in hybrid vehicles and battery electric vehicles have their advantages, there are a few factors to consider when making your choice. If you need the flexibility of long distances, travel, or are concerned about charging in your area, a plug-in hybrid might be a better fit, or if you're nervous of going to fully electric. On the other hand, if you have access to reliable charging and prioritize zero emissions, an EV would be the perfect match for your lifestyle. So there you have it, folks, the differences between plug-in hybrid vehicles and battery electric vehicles. Whether you choose a FEV or a BEV, both options contribute to a more sustainable future and will also help your wallet. All right, thanks for watching. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And also don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get notified of when I do release videos, which is about every week. But if you subscribe, you'll get them eventually. All right, so thanks again for watching. And also check out my merch store. You get t-shirts like this one just down below here. Check them out. Uh, pick one out today. Tons of cool options. All right, thanks again for watching. We'll see you next week. Just 50 miles at uh, back. EVs also have a lower operating. So battery electric vehicle, battery electric vehicle, battery electric. You're not worrying about gas. Then you battery electric. So battery, battery electric vehicles are also have. Now, on the other hand, if you have access to reliable charging and you travel or are concerned about charging. If you need the flexibility of long distance travel or you just travel a lot in one day, then uh